Hi, my name is Mark King. I'm the ICT manager at New College in Leicester. New College Leicester has 800 students on roll and we have 500 computers available for student use. When I first started at New College Leicester five years ago, ICT use was very restricted. There wasn't much resource. Since then, we've come on tremendously. We're now in a position where we want to start replacing some of these computers. So therefore, we decided to look to the market and find out the best way for us to invest in new technology in the most sustainable and cost-effective way. Whilst investigating thin client technology, we looked at products from all of the market leaders and we actually discovered end computing, which is actually desktop virtualization. Upon evaluating the unit, we actually discovered that this really does do what we want it to do. And we were like, this is fantastic, we need to take this a step further now. So we then decided to deploy the units into a whole classroom. Hi, my name is Amit Kamani, and I'm a teacher at New College of Leicester. These are the consequences that we have at the end of an ICT lesson. We have the following, which is the front cover of the tower being damaged and destroyed and just being left on the floor. If you have a look within the tower, having pieces of paper left in the tower. These air conditioning units keep our rooms cool. However, the problem occurs is when they go off and they make random noises throughout the day. The problem occurs when we try and teach our lessons. We have to stop and it stops the flow of our teaching. Also, another problem is that these have to be switched on and off manually and we can't keep control of these. That's a prime example. The reason I felt that end computing was a solution for our school was, um, well, basically three reasons. Firstly, we were getting to the point with our equipment where it was um, coming to an age where we needed replacing. Secondly, we were tired of the current solution, which was replacing hard drives. And thirdly, we wanted to, to basically try this new technology and see whether it could enable us to widen our access of ICT across the school. And it has. For me personally, end computing was a good choice. Firstly, because of cost. It's a very low cost device. Also, the reduction in energy costs and energy usage and carbon emissions were absolutely incredible. Over five years, the cost of running 400 desktop computers was £70,000 and also and emitting nearly 260 tonnes in carbon emissions. Whereas the end computing solution would only cost us £23,000 in energy over five years and only release 88.4 tonnes of carbon emissions. Um, you're looking at an incredible saving. In fact, we estimate that um, when the whole system is up and running, that we could save the school uh, anywhere between 16 to £20,000 a year just in energy costs. When considering teaching um, in this environment, things have become a lot easier, a lot quicker. I know it sounds funny, but I don't have to raise my voice anymore. Also, the temperature in the classroom is considerably cooler than it was previously. Also, access to the network seems to have sped up, in fact, and we're, we're now able to access files at a much quicker rate. We operate in a, a current cycle of three to four years where we replenish old equipment for new. With end computing and with its durability, we're looking at um, extending that by at least 12 to 18 months, which in turn means we're saving costs in the long run. If anyone wants to ask my advice on where they should be investing their money with regards to replacing desktops or even investing in expanding their current desktop environment, I would strongly suggest that they look at end computing. It saved us money, it saved us time, and it's helped us a long way to meeting our green targets.